A dot on a piece of paper is of the first dimension. Two dots forming a line is of the second dimension. Four dots forming a plane is of the third dimension. Four planes forming a cube are taking up the fourth dimension. Add speed to it and it will transcend the fourth dimension and merge into higher dimension. Hence, E is equal to MC squared. Please watch the movie Contact for more in-depth understanding. Feng Shui deals with the fourth dimension and up. The whole matrix. Not just on paper. Just like swimming, you can't be swimming if you simply talk about it without jumping into the water. You can't do feng shui to your house just by doing it on paper. The first dimension. You must treat the whole house, a whole matrix, on multi-dimension. And this matrix is holographic by nature too. By now, you start to understand why most feng shui tactics don't work. Yes, it's because you're only servicing the first dimension. You didn't have a clue it's the whole energetic matrix you're to deal with. And that's why where to put what and when will matter much. Nothing is by chance, and everything happens for a reason. The fact that you've been so unlucky doesn't just happen for no reason. It's the energy matrix that you've been exposed to that makes or breaks you. You can make your house as beautiful as beautiful can be. But yet, you're still being out of luck because the flying stars feng shui don't agree with one another. Yes, the constellations of the stars. Yes, the numbers. There is magic in numbers. You just have to know how to get them to work. But it's a tall order for the uninitiated. What to do? Learn the flying stars feng shui system well because this is the core of feng shui. There is only one valid system of feng shui. And it's the flying stars feng shui system. Get my feng shui grid 2020 from fengshuisecret.com to learn more.